Okay, are we ready for part three? Um, I covered, in the first video, I covered Sands of Joy and the Imperials arrows for Russ. Uh, in the second video, those were mainly the uh, albums he put out when he was with uh, Murr Records. And now we're going to do the rest of his CDs. And maybe it won't be as long. This segment may not be as long because there's there's not as much to show. Now, at this point, we're done with vinyl. I don't think anything in this stack has ever been pressed to vinyl. Maybe, maybe someone ought to put a bug in Bill Gaither's ear that, hey, maybe you should do some limited edition vinyl on some of these Rust Half albums and uh, do some cool stuff. But we'll see. Uh, all right. So first up, uh, this is Russ's country album. And I was looking for a date. Um, it is Winds of Change, Russ Taff. He had signed with Warner Alliance, I believe. Reprise Records is what this came out on. Uh, I believe some good pictures of Russ right there. Let's pull that out. Um, I believe he toured with Joe Diffie on this uh, at, for this album. Man, he had some great songs. This uh, booklet has got a lot of, it's mainly lyrics with a really good picture of Russ right there. But the lyrics just look, you know, like that. Anyway, this was a really good album. I uh, love the song Being Happy, which kicked off the album. Uh, One and Only Love, great song. Love is Not a Thing. I love that song, and he did a video for, for that one. It was a single. I Cry, which was from uh, The Way Home, made it onto here. And uh, I'd fall in love, and I'd fall in love tonight. Winds of Change, which was the kickoff song for the way home. So that's two songs from the way home uh, that that made it on to this album. Uh, Re-recorded, -re I believe. Uh, Heart like yours, once in a lifetime, home to you. Just a fantastic album. I guess it didn't do as well as they had hoped. beautiful guitar he's got there um, but yeah fantastic album if you see this and I often will run across copies in even bargain bin sometimes uh, this is a great this is a great album yeah, just just a great album uh, this next one let me pop this out because it, it man I Sometimes you pick up, I must have got this one in a sidewalk sale. I think I've got a couple copies of this laying around. So let me take this, this demo, it was probably a demo in a Christian bookstore at one point. I don't know. But anyway, there's the picture. Russ Taff right here right now. Another good picture of Russ right there. Going back to the blue that he sported for metals. Good lyrics, or uh, <laughs> great lyrics, but uh, I was trying to say good picture of Russ right there. Stop trying to say lyrics and then another good picture, Russ. Um, this is a fantastic album as well. Uh, right here, right now. Yeah, kicked off with somebody's coming. Man, what a... He just... You know, being the son of a Pentecostal preacher and just... Russ... Russ is such a visceral singer. He he really reminds me... The, the two instruments that I think are the most visceral instruments 
that have ever existed has been Russ Tass' voice and John Coltrane's saxophone. You just feel everything when you hear those two sounds. And, and Russ, especially on a song like Somebody's Coming, I saw him on a tour uh, with a bunch of other artists. And the other artists were good. A bunch of other Christian artists. It was like a winter jam. And the other artists did well. They come out, did their stuff, went back. Man, something, somebody's coming, pop. You, you could hear that song just pop out there and Russ come out. And you watched the whole crowd. I saw this up at the... Uh, it might have been Louisville Gardens again, but the whole crowd just came to their feet. There was electricity in the air. He blew it out of the ballpark. But this is a great album. Somebody's Coming was a big song for him. Uh, he does uh, Back into Grace, um, Make Me Whole, Things Will Be Different. And he's really, this album was, I think, Part of what makes this album stand out is is he was digging even deeper into the pain that he's gone through in his life. And uh, Lazarus was on here, As Long As You're With Me, and then Shadow of the Cross. Um, great album. This was actually on Benson Records. Uh, yeah, so right here, right now. This was uh, 19, this was like late 90s, I believe, 97 maybe? Well, let's try 1999. Uh, right here, right now. Then... The next two albums I want to show you are 2002. Russ joined the Gaither Vocal Band. Now, that that says a little something right there. First of all, the Imperials in the 70s were as big a vocal group as as there had been, as far as I, I, I can tell. And then along came the Gaither Vocal Band, which kind of started up in the 80s. But, yeah, Russ is saying lead in both, both groups. Both groups ought to be in the Hall of Fame. Both are, as far as I'm concerned, the Imperials and the Gaither Vocal Band are the two top premier vocal groups in gospel music. And there's Russ with, with the other, other group. Uh, and this, what a lineup here. Bill's, <laughs> Bill can really surround himself with great singers. Uh, Guy Penrod, Guy Penrod right here, of course Russ in the middle, and then uh, David Phelps with uh, Bill Gaither in the back there. David Phelps being a world-class singer with just amazing pipes. And there are some great songs on this, Harbor Rig Bridge and New Hope Road was a big one for Russ, uh, written by the Gatlin Brothers, I think Larry Gatlin wrote it. Uh, great song. And then, uh, of course, um, the really big news. Uh, and then, wow, this, this album, I think my favorite song on it, though, is, is, uh, It Is Finished. And they just really kill it. <laughs> they, what a, first of all, what a great gospel song. If I could, I mean, if I get the opportunity in the next day or two to actually say a few words to Bill Gaither. I, I maybe thank him for that writing that song. What a great, great anthem. And, uh, yeah, just great, great stuff. And then, so after two, this 2002 album came this 2003 album, uh, with the Gaither vocal band acapella. Another good collection of songs. Uh, Low Down Ch the Chariot. Um, when I Survey the Wondrous Cross. 
and he will carry you. Uh, yeah, I probably need to re-familiarize myself with this with this album. Again, the great lineup with David Phelps, Guy Penrod, and Russ, along with Bill Gaither. Okay. Uh, this next album is a little bit of an oddball. It came out on the Gaither Gospel series, The Best of Rust Half. Because most of the songs on this album, I believe most of these songs were, were the, the first recordings of each song are on this album. So now... I guess it gets the best of because it does have songs like We Will Stand, which was from the great anthem. And wow. Now I'm realizing my mistake in, in the second video. I went right by Walls of Glass and didn't talk about how great an anthem We Will Stand is. But I'll fix that in the next, the next video. Watch me. Um, we Will Stand is on here from Russ's first solo album. Uh, Praise the Lord and Trumpet of Jesus were imperial songs. Um, Ain't No Grave from Under Their Influence is on here. But because all of those uh, uh, songs appeared on on uh, records that were uh, for other companies, they had to be re-recorded for this one. Um, and that's fine. They, they all sound great. This is a fantastic album. Uh, the, you know, my only complaint might be that the guitar solo in Ain't No Grave was a bit abbreviated. But uh, other than that, uh, this is a fantastic album. And there are songs on here that appear that have never appeared on a Rust Taff album. Uh, like... Uh, they call it gospel music. Um, uh, farther along, I don't remember call that being on a previous album. He came through. I believe that was on the way home. Uh, let's see, my tribute. He do, does Andre Crouch's my tribute. Um, Born again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, when he calls me, I'll fly away. <laughs> Those are some great songs, but he's never had them on previous albums. So this is kind of a unique album. Uh, I think this can be gotten at a fairly reasonable price on eBay or some some place like that, or uh, look for it on Russ's table. You know, if he's got it, grab it. <laughs> this is this is fantastic. The next one came out on uh, Spring House, which I believe is a Gaither, well, Bill Gaither is the executive producer of this album. It is uh, Now More Than Ever, another fantastic album. I think my favorite off this one is uh, Jesus is the Best Thing. What a fabulous song. The old gospel song. It looks like when I've done looked it up, it I think it's uh, like a '60s gospel song. Fantastic, but it's got a got a lot of great stuff on here, like uh, "Somebody's Coming," uh, the really big news from the Gaither vocal band album is on here. Uh, I believe in a hill called Mount Calvary. Um, again. Just an, another fantastic, necessary album that you should get if you love this man's voice. Uh, let's see here. Good picture of him on the inside. Lyrics. Now, this is a 2011 and his last full studio album, Rust Half for O Islands. Gr 
great, great album. From what I understand, there were a couple guys that uh, from the Faroe Islands that wanted to produce a Russ Taff album, kind of take them back to his roots. Uh, they came up with what is a brilliant, brilliant album. Uh, sorry for the sniffles, but again, I'm I'm still still struggling over here with my allergies. Um, good picture. I like that. I it's a I just like the artistry and the silhouette there. This album is just fantastic. Uh, here Comes Jesus is on here. Um, I think uh, God's Love, that was a great, such a great song, Lifting Me Higher. Um, Ecclesiastes, what, what a fantastic song. Uh, You're Still So Good, Man of Sorrow, Man of This Broken Heart. He covers... Uh, Bob Dylan's uh, I Believe in You does a good job with that. Help Me. Um, great song. This sounds great. Uh, my only my only criticism might be that uh, he did this he did this for a, a Gaither I thought he did this for a Gaither video project. I know I picked up the Big Tent uh, the Gaither, the Gaither project, and I couldn't find the help me on it. But when I go to the videos on on the internet, that he's at that location singing "Help Me" with uh, with the help of some background singers, and and I like that version just a hair more because at the very end, here it's like Russ's bringing the pot to a boil and right before it starts to boil that we turn off the stove whereas on that video he's he he really brings it home at the end uh so but that is a small criticism it's still the meaning of the song and it's fantastic um then he closes the song with these two Closes the album with these two songs, Love is a Cross, which I think the lyrics are just so meaningful, deep and meaningful. And then that that Day by Day. Oh, wow. Fabulous. So there you have it. We've gone through Russ's discography and, and not a bad, <laughs> a bad album in there. They're all fantastic. Some, some are just otherworldly. The last CD I've got for this video is this. This was a single. Uh, Russ went in and recorded two songs, uh, Precious Lord, Take My Hand, and a song called Going Home. And all of us that uh, attended last year's Russ and Tori Taft Bell Buckle Weekend got a copy. I don't know if they made one for the first year. I guess I should find out and then see if I can talk someone into giving me theirs <laughs> or selling me theirs. Yeah, so that's great stuff. I hope that uh, for those who might be watching from the Rust Half fan page, um, hope you enjoyed walking do those albums with me and looking at them uh for those of you in the youtube vinyl community music community um if you don't know russ taff man i i think that that there's definitely such magic in his voice he's he's a singer worth listening to and, and the meaning of his songs are just so deep and, and uh there's a lot there to be had and um, I'd encourage you to give them a try and maybe and and feel free to contact me through the comments whatever uh, and and uh, 
and maybe I'll help you try to find the because he his albums do do tend to are pretty varied. So uh, I hope to, I'll try to help do my best to help you find the album that works best for you. But we're getting a little long. I didn't think we'd go this long, but uh, we have. I'm going to end it here, and I'll be back in a minute because we still have to do some Christmas albums and some side projects at least at the very least so hang in there we're almost we're getting there and we'll see you in a minute